this one is definitely for the football fans. Heineken is synonymous with class and premium, so they always throw the best events, I always have premium events, and they're a premium brand, so um, I expect premium quality entertainment. Ooh, the one song that will get me to dance right now is Zlatan and Bernard killing them shot. Hey, there. You've had a pretty crazy journey from where you started to uh, Mr. Universe Nigeria. Can you just catch us up on that part? I think everything really, really changed for me. Uh, I think three years ago, I hurt my knee. I couldn't walk. How did you hurt it? I was playing soccer. Just random playing soccer. My knee got caught in a ditch and my whole body weight fell on my knee awkwardly. I had to wait eight months before I got surgery. So that was eight months of just pain. After we did the surgery, it takes about a year to recover. Uh -huh. And I fell on it again. Mm -hmm. I had internal bleeding. I had another emergency surgery. For some reason, I bumped on Mr. Universe into the page. I looked at some of these guys and I, I was terribly out of shape. But I knew I could train as hard as possible and get in shape with these guys. Uh -huh. And that's what started it. Sorry to interrupt. It's been so long, baby. How are you? You came in right in the, in the hot spot. Mm. I'm trying to draw it really carefully. I have done for a while. You know when people say, what do you do outside of music? Uh -huh. What do you do when you're not making music? This is music? it, this is what you do? Apart from eating. This is the next. Okay. Right. <laughs> so it's just something that I do for fun. And just to, I find painting to be particularly, it's a form of stress relief. Do you have like a specific Style. Style or, yeah. Um, not really. It's, I would say it's abstract mm -hmm. because I can't draw. <laughs> to save my life. Like when I was in, in, in boarding school and we'd have like fine art and mm -hmm. you know, there's different types of art, but I'd say it's abstract. And lately I've been obsessed with the idea of line drawings because you have to start with one line mm -hmm. and not take your hand off the paper at so all. It just keeps going exactly. like that. Exactly. So I've taken my paintbrush off, but when I drew it by pencil, mm -hmm. you start at one point and you don't stop till you get to the end. Seriously, what's what's, what's life like right now? Yeah, It's been good. I mean, my first song, which Bamilo, exactly. um, it did really well. Yep. You know, when something just takes on a life of its own, uh -huh. it did much better than anticipated. So I expected it to do well, but it you surpassed my expectation. Exactly. So that was a bit like, ooh. Because, you know, everyone, I like to take each step. It's like it's like going up some stairs and you're taking one step at yeah. a time. All of a sudden, you're like taking massive leaps. So, it, it's good, it's fantastic, but also I feel, I felt a little bit under pressure, like, oh my gosh, my next song has to okay. be like that. Be like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But some songs just, they just have a formula that works and everybody loves and it. Just and went with it. Yeah, okay. so. But then Liar came after that. Yes. I love Liar. Liar was actually ready before Bamilo. It's just that just Bamilo came up. Exactly. So I love it. It's more. It's part of my new EP, which uh -huh. is coming out hopefully in, in the summer. Okay. I'm not exactly sure when, so I don't want to. I don't give away uh, too many details. Mm. All right. Finishing touches. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Did I get the look right? How do you? How do you do? Hmm. <laughs> Oh gosh. I think I'm just terrible. I'm just lip. terrible. So you say you don't remember. Where you did that December? 